Hey everybody. How are you guys? My Banner Fanner family. Alright, so I just went into the, um, what's it called? Job lot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go to my Instagram. Instagram.com slash Crystal Vanner. And you'll see a picture of the store. It reminds me of Big Lots. If you're familiar with Big Lots or if you have a Big Lots, um, that's what it reminds me of. So I got a few things there. I just wanted to show you a few things I got. Got a new toothbrush for a dollar. Reach. Reach toothbrush. I just finished putting... I got mostly food food stuff. So I just putting, finished putting my food away because, you know, I'm try, I don't like to eat out. Unless someone's treating. But yeah, I don't really like to eat out if I can avoid it. Ooh, this is like a good one too. Look at that. Look at all them bristles right there. Yeah, baby. I just finished eating popcorn. So after I shoot this video, I mean, um, yeah, shoot this video, I will be brushing my teeth because I just had popcorn and flossing. I'm very good about my oral health. At least I try to be. So I just got, I got this popcorn from the store, from the same store. Gourmet Basics Popcorn, Crushed Pepper, and Truffle Oil. 100% awesome, 0% guilt. All natural, air pop, snack smart. So I ate about half of what was in there. And so now I'm just going to roll it down. And get a little clip. These are Dollar Tree clips. I love these clips. And I'm just going to clip it. Stick it in here with my food. All right, before I do that, let me show you some of the food that I bought. The fan is on, so I hope I'm talking loud enough. I'm in the parking lot of the store, so I don't want to scream. But I'm hoping you guys can hear me. I can actually... I'll turn it off for a little while while I do the video. It's warm, but it's not, like, hot. All right, so what I got... I got Victoria Vegan... Vegan Vodka Sauce... And the ingredients look good. Um, tomatoes, soy protein, olive oil, onion, sugar, salt, vodka, cornstarch, garlic, basil, vodka spices, whatever. Anyway, it's better than most pasta sauces. So I got that and I love the vodka sauce. It's my favorite pasta sauce. I also found this. It's um, authentic vegetarian condensed mushroom barley soup made from our own authentic recipe all natural cholesterol free and that's the name brand and it's mushroom barley soup i do like mushrooms what else did i get there oh i got these i got three of these different flavors because sully hi sully took me out to india indian food last night and um, just, I hadn't had it in a long time, and I was just like, oh, so good. So I found these in the um, um, job lot. I want to say big lot, but job lots. And they had um, Kitchens of India, Black Graham Lentil Curry. This is mild. And it's basically got a foil pouch in here, and because the directions say... There's three ways to cook it. You can empty the contents into a microwave and microwave, or you can cut the contents into a frying pan and heat on a stove, or you can immerse the foil pouch in boiling water for three to five minutes. That's probably what I would do, because I would probably, honestly, I would probably boil the foil pouch for the three to five minutes, stir the contents a little bit, or um, mush, you know, uh, cut the top off the foil, stir it with a spoon, leave it in the water a little longer till it's all warm and I honestly would probably eat it right out of the foil pouch I wouldn't even probably because it look feels like there's not much like that would be one serving so I would probably just eat it right out the foil pouch and save myself from washing a dish so that one was the black graham lentils curry and this one which is a medium spiciness is the yellow dala yellow dal taka split lentil curry i love i like lentils and then this one which is also a mild is the spinach with cottage cheese and sauce so they're all in a foil pouch and they're all um shelf 
they stay on the shelf, so there's no refrigeration, which is why I got them, obviously. Since there's no refrigeration up in this here van, put those back. And I also got some Mediterranean blend, sunflower oil and extra virgin olive oil combo. I got two of those, they were a dollar each. And they had a big, a big one that was like $4.99, $3.99. But with my space, I just got two small ones for a dollar each. And the last thing I got, oh no, not the last thing, second to last thing. I got organic red rice macaroni. This pasta is made with organic red rice flour, organic brown rice flour, organic white rice flour and organic pea protein so it's better than regular 11 grams of protein and because I'm a pescatarian it's good to get some extra protein where you can and I got some seasoning which I hadn't had in a while salt free table blend basically it's like a season all has a bunch of stuff in it it's got onion black pepper, chili pepper, parsley, celery seed, basil, um, cayenne pepper, mustard, garlic, orange peel, carrot, tomato, red bell pepper, and, a, and oil of lemon. So that's like a good all-purpose seasoning. Ah, I also forgot that I got some coconut oil. Organic refined coconut oil, 100% uh, non-GMO. Store in a cool, dark place, no refrigeration necessary. So I went ahead and got it. I haven't had coconut oil on the van in a long time because obviously it melts when it gets hot. So, and that one was in a plastic container, so that's kind of the main reason why I got it because it was a small enough jar, first of all, and it was in plastic, not glass, because they usually tend to come in glass, at least the ones that I have found come in glass. And I also found, remember the conditioner I was telling you guys that I co-wash my hair with? They have a big one with a pump. And it's VO5 Moisture Milks Strawberries and Cream. This is what I use for a co-wash moisturizing conditioner. And I, I want to say I paid like two bucks for this thing. I usually get the smaller version of this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I like the, the pump thing. That's cool. So... I think that was all that I got. Oh no, I did get some tea. I've had a sore throat the last few days. So I got some of this tea and I'm actually going to be boiling some water and having a cup of tea real soon. Probably shouldn't have ate the popcorn with a sore throat, but I really wanted to taste it. So, thank you, Sully. For recommending that I go there it really really reminds me of Big Lots so I don't know if anyone else knows what a Big Lots is then you pretty much know what job lot is like because it's pretty much exactly the same type of store so a toothbrush away and he gave me this cute card it was cute and it says on the inside enjoy the journey peace Sully he also gave me a stylus apparently he got a two or a three pack and he didn't want the pink one so he gave it to me <laughs> that's funny and he gave me a water bandit which two people wants to know what the heck is a water bandit so it connects a hose to a threadless or damaged faucet so basically let me cut it open and I will show you what it does I can basically take this end and put it in any type of faucet I want, even a kitchen faucet. And then this end, I can hook up a hose, a regular hose with the thread. So basically it gives me threading for a hose from any water source that doesn't have a threaded end. 
That's basically what it is. Yep. Water Bandit quickly connects to most standard hoses and faucets for versatile water connections. That's what it does. <laughs> water Bandit. That's cool. I do not have a hose though. So I'm going to find the shortest hose I can because it will be good for filling up my water. Um, if I'm out and about somewhere. So I'll find a small hose. I don't know. How long is a hose? Do they, what's the shortest hose they make? Do they make like a five foot hose? Maybe I'll get one of those hoses. You know the ones that really shrink small. And when they fill with water they swell up. I'll get one of those. That way it doesn't take up extra space. But this is a cool little gadget to have. You never know when you're going to need to fill water from just like a bathroom sink or something. And you need a hose. So I'm putting that. Where can I put that with? I don't really have a gadget drawer. Well, underneath my bed I have a little container um, box that has electronics. I'll stick this with the electronics. I'm not going to dig under there right now. I'll do that after. Oh, oh, and the actual last thing. <laughs> I got some aloe drink. Although I don't like it, I'm not impressed with this one. I knew I was taking a chance buying this brand, but I'm not impressed with it. It doesn't have very many aloe pieces in it, and so I don't like it. There's a brand that 7-Eleven sells that I like the best, and um, I forgot what it's called. I don't know if it's Aloe King or the other one. Anyway, this doesn't have very many pieces of aloe chunks in it. I like the one that's really kind of pulpy, which is weird that I like the aloe drink with pulp, but I don't like orange juice with pulp. Do not give me orange juice with pulp. It's disgusting. Go figure. The juice itself tastes fine. It's just not very many aloe pieces in it. I don't know if you've ever had aloe drink, but it's pretty good. I, mean, I don't know what the benefits of it health wise are but people drink soda and there's no benefit to it so hey I can drink aloe drink every once in a while and honestly I haven't drank an aloe drink in probably a couple of months so well let me take that back no I didn't have one while I was there yeah probably been a couple months anyway so I just um, rearranged my food shelf a little bit so that all my um, breakfast stuff is on the top along with my um, utensils and the teas and then all the main food items are on the middle shelf and then on the very bottom the third shelf is my um, the oil the vinegar the um, pot pan the bowl the seasoning that kind of stuff so anyway it looks a little neater it has stuff stuff like stuff you know stuff that's more like each other go together my paper towels shoved up here i like that i put that little shelf there that was kind of a last minute afterthought to stick that up there and it is um it's held in with a bungee cord into the actual metal part of the van so anyway i tell you it's a never a dull moment living a van life so I finished my job, well, not, I'm not finished my job, I go in tomorrow for the last four hours, but, so Thursday, no, Wednesday, I was at the library, and I just randomly decided to look on Craigslist for gigs, and that's where I found the job that I worked yesterday and today, and will be working tomorrow at a scrapbook expo here in Massachusetts at the one of the little trade centers at the hotels so it was pretty cool because it was only supposed to be a job on Thursday and that's it just helping the woman set up because the owner of the shop do dilly designs uh, lives in Florida and so she was having um, to go obviously with everything that's going on weather wise within Florida and all the other parts of the um, country so she could not come to the expo so her employee was going to be there by herself trying to do what they normally do one person so i helped her set up and i think i frustrated the woman a little bit just because i obviously don't know what you want it to look like i've never been to your 
scrapbooking expo before or your booth or anything so I thought I was doing an okay job for someone who'd never done it before but I think she was getting frustrated and she may have just been frustrated with the whole situation and not necessarily just with me but I was trying to make you know I kept telling her I'm sorry if I'm making more work for you if you feel like you have to go back and tweak what I've done that wasn't my intention I don't want to make more work for you it doesn't make sense for me to make more work for you but anyway everything went better today it was a little better today she's stressed and I understand that she's stressed but um so I go, um, I worked only um, 8 to noon today, and yesterday I worked from 10.30 to 6, and then tomorrow I'll work 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., and that's basically to help her break down and pack everything up that we just set up. It seems like a lot of work for just a couple of days. I feel like that's a lot of work, and I think they brought a lot of stuff they probably did not necessarily need to bring, but... I don't do these things. That's not my job. That's not my business. So uh, I assume for them it's worth it. They must make enough money to make it worth their while. Anyhow, um, the owner of Do Dilly, and I cannot remember her name. I want to say it's Cam or Carm. But she, I guess, laser cuts all their scrapbooking things or gets them laser cut. I don't know if she does it herself or is it in-house or outhouse or what. But she had these maps of the United States minus Hawaii and Alaska which is fine with me I'm not visiting those anytime soon and then there was a third size that looks like it was a eight and a half by eleven like a full sheet like I wanted and if you remember I got this puzzle from Dollar Tree because I wanted a US map so now I have a US map that I can color in the states that I visit and the small one I got from my journal that um, Soaring Progeny, Progeny Millie gave me. And then this big one I'm going to hang up here. And so I'll color them off. Virginia will be red since red's my favorite color and I'm from Virginia. Virginia will be colored red. And then I'll just color all the other states other colors. So let's... I'm thinking about... Um, coloring the states that I just drive through yellow and then coloring the states that I actually did an activity or stayed overnight in a darker color so here it is it's on the paper background see it isn't that cool it's really cool so I did not realize it was a thingy by itself, so I don't know how I'm going to work that. So I might just glue it onto this card and leave it onto the card so I can color the card. Same thing with the big one. So yeah, I think, um, yeah, I'm thinking about coloring the states I drive through yellow and then choosing a darker color when I actually um, do something in that state. Like obviously Massachusetts is going to be a dark color because I've been here for like three days going on four days and I've hung out and I've done a lot of things here even got a job <laughs> and um, you know Jersey I went to Jersey camping with my first trip to Maine with the Melanin Express so we actually camped in Jersey so I should be able to mark Jersey off as well with a dark color I haven't decided what the dark color will be I know I don't want it to be green because with Virginia being red, I don't want the other states to be green because it'll look Christmassy. I don't know. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Give me a suggestion as to what you think. Virginia is going to be red, and it'll stay red because that's my home state. And I need a light color for the states I drive through, and then a color dark enough to cover over the yellow or the light color. For when I when I actually do an activity at that state so in the comments tell me what you think as far as um, the coloring of the map what I should do um, I want I just want Virginia to be the only red state though so if you can any other colors I have tons of um, crowns and stuff like that coloring pencils and whatnot and pens as well so there's always a way to color something in and I can always buy a box of crayons if I need some other colors you guys suggest something that I don't have which I think I have mostly all the basic colors plus a few extras 
But anyway, um, I think that's all for today. And I want to say today is Saturday. Yes, today is Saturday. It's funny how when you live in the van, you lose track of time. And I don't think I've turned my calendar to September yet. I have not. That might be helpful. Yes, today is the 9th, Saturday, September 9th. There we go. Now my calendar is on the right month. Not that I look at it very often, but at least it is now on the right month. And then I have just under a week to get to Philly. So I'll be leaving to, um, no, today's the 8th. Yes, sorry, today's Friday. Wait, hold on, I am so confused. I set up yesterday, which was Thursday. Yes, today is Friday the 8th, not Saturday the 9th. Okay, tomorrow is Saturday. Okay, so confusing. So I'm going to leave here Sunday morning, which will be the 10th, and that's the 10th, the 11th, the 12th. So that gives me three days to get up to Maine. And then on the 13th, I want to head back down to Philly for the... Um, van meetup in Philadelphia which is the 15th 16th and 17th I did not get to Rhode Island I did not get to Block Island but that's okay I do plan on doing those at some point that's not a big deal I'll get to them so yeah as long as I get to Maine that was my main um, Maine was my main goal for this trip because I didn't make it last time so I wanted to make sure I made it this time so I have plenty of time to get to Maine I'm going to eat one lobster and then pretty much spend one night and then come on back to Philly. I'll probably arrive on the 14th in Philly. And so I'll probably hang out um, in Philly on the 14th and then go to the meetup on the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Then I will leave on the 18th and start making my way back down. I'm debating about stopping in um, New York. I have a couple people who want me to stop in New York to see them. So I'm debating about that. The only thing about going to New York is somebody's got to have a driveway for me to park in. Park in or a um, no of a Walmart there that allows overnight parking because it's really, I'm not paying crazy parking for New York. So I don't know. What, I don't know. As far as after the... Um, van meet up in Philly I haven't decided what I'm going to do after that so I don't know what other places I'll see let's look at the map here the puzzle map so there's Philly mm, I could go to well I already spent a little time in Connecticut I mean I could possibly squeeze in Rhode Island uh, I feel like that was backtracking Maybe West Virginia. I haven't been to West Virginia since this trip. So maybe Ohio or West Virginia before I get to um, back to Virginia. Because I don't have to be back in Virginia until the 27th. I think it's the 27th or the 26th. So I pretty much have like a week. I have from the 18th through the 23rd to do something as I'm making my way back to, um, to um, the southern part of Virginia. So maybe Ohio or West Virginia or even the, that little, little piece of Kentucky that's closest to the Virginia border, somewhere around there. So I might do something like that for that week and just see what happens. We'll see. I'll play it by ear. If not, I'll just be making my way to Virginia earlier if nothing works out. So if you're in any of those places I just mentioned that I might go to, the uh, eastern part of Ohio that's closest to Philadelphia, I mean Pennsylvania, and West Virginia, I'm gonna say like maybe the central part of West Virginia or the eastern part of West Virginia or a little bit of the south, maybe. I guess almost anywhere in West Virginia is okay. Or if you're in the eastern part of Kentucky or that's closest to Virginia, that border of Kentucky, 
and Virginia. If you're in any of those places and you want to meet, and you can let a sister do some laundry. I'm just saying. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Continue to like and subscribe and share.